Hello guys, Luna here and welcome back to another Elden Ring update video. The 1.04 update is out now and I'm going over all of the changes in the patch notes. The update itself is 4.7 gigabytes on the Series X, 5.3 gigabytes on PlayStation 5, but for Steam users the download size is a huge 46 gigabytes. Okay guys, so there are changes to pretty much every weapon and weapon skill in the game and we're just going to go over them one by one, even though there are a lot of similarities for all these changes, but we will go over them nonetheless. So let's start and get through them. First, they added an option to turn the camera auto rotate function on or off. They've added some event phases for the NPC patches. One of the first things you'll notice in the update is a buff to your FP. Pre-update mine was 130, it's now 147 and they have also increased the stamina slightly as well. And the boost is for when your character is at a lower level and that's when you will see the changes. But if you're already a higher level, then don't worry. All these changes are automatically applied to your character. Increase Colossal Sword and Colossal Weapon attack speed and lowered the recovery time. Jump attacks are not included in that. Increase the two-handed attack damage of Colossal Swords and Colossal Weapons. Increased physical block rate and guard boost of the Colossal Swords and Weapons, including also the Great Sword, Great Hammer, Great Axe, Great Spear and Halberd weapons as well. Increase the damage of the Grafted Blade Great Sword. Increase the damage of Devourer Scepter. They've decreased the scaling of status effect buildup from spells and incantations of Albanoric Staff and the Dragon Communion Seal. Decrease the effect of the Great Shield Talisman for weapons with a high block rate. Shorten the length of the Madness Afflicted animation. And lowered the speed of Madness buildup recovery. Next, take a look at some of the changes they've made to sorceries and incantations. To Crystal Barrage, they've increased cast speed and decreased recovery time. Gavel of Hyma, increased cast speed and decreased recovery time, allows casters to more easily withstand enemies' attack while casting. Shard Earth, they've increased cast speed and decreased recovery time. Rock Blaster, they've decreased recovery time. Thops Barrier, increased area of effect and slightly increased effect duration. Renala's Full Moon, they've increased the cast speed and they've decreased recovery time as well. Rani's Dark Moon, increased cast speed and decreased recovery time. Carrying Great Sword, increased cast speed at a lower dexterity. Magma Shot, decreased FP cost and increased cast speed. Magma, they've increased cast speed and decreased time until magma explodes. Gelmir's Fury, they've slightly decreased the random nature of projectiles range and increased the damage of the lava pool. Increased the hitbox as well. Rickard's Rancor, they've decreased FP cost. Oracle Bubbles increased the cast speed and decreased recovery time. Great Oracle Bubble, they've increased cast speed and decreased recovery time for that. Briars of Sin, decreased recovery time, increased blood loss buildup on enemy. Briars of Punishment, decreased recovery time, increased blood loss buildup on enemy. Explosive Ghost Flame, decreased FP cost and recovery time. Tibia Summon, increased damage and cast speed. Aspects of the Crucible Tail, they've decreased FP and stamina cost. Aspects of the Crucible Horns decreased the FP and stamina cost and they've increased cast speed and they've increased the distance travelled when not charged and made it easier to cause enemies to flinch when charged. Elden Stars, they've increased cast speed and decreased recovery time. Black Blade, they've decreased stamina consumption and decreased recovery time. Discus of Light, decreased FP cost and increased damage and cast speed. Triple Rings of Light, they've increased its damage. Radagon's Rings of Light, they've decreased FP cost, increased damage and cast speed and decreased recovery time. Lightning Strike, decreased stamina cost, increased cast speed and decreased recovery time. Honed Bolt, increased cast speed and decreased recovery time. Ancient Dragon's Lightning Spear, they've decreased FP and stamina cost, they've increased cast speed and decreased recovery time and that allows casters to more easily withstand enemy attacks while casting. Ancient Dragon's Lightning Strike, decreased recovery time. Lansax Glaive, decreased FP and stamina cost, and it's increased cast speed and decreased recovery time and allows more easily to withstand attacks while casting as well. Fortisax Lightning Spear, decreased FP and stamina cost, and increased cast speed and decreased recovery time. Frozen Lightning Spear, decreased stamina cost, increased cast speed, and decreased recovery time. Death Lightning, decreased FP cost, increased the duration of death accumulating smoke, O Flame, increased damage. Giant Flame, take thee, decreased stamina cost. Flame of the Fell God, decreased FP cost and increased damage. 
Whirl of Flame, increased damage and decreased recovery time. Burn of Flame has increased cast speed and decreased recovery time. Black Flame, increased damage and the spell can break enemy guards more easily now. Scourge Black Flame, they have decreased FP cost and recovery time and increased attack range and area of effect. For the Black Flame Ritual, they've reduced the FP cost and increased damage. Garank's Beast Claw has increased damage and decreased recovery time. Blood Flame Talons decreased FP cost and increased cast speed and they've decreased the recovery time as well. Blood Boon increased damage, increased cast speed and decreased effect startup time, decreased the recovery time as well. Pest Threads, one of the most annoying attacks in the game, decreased the stamina cost. Scarlet Aeonei increased cast speed and decreased recovery time, allows casters to more easily withstand enemy attacks while casting. Unendurable Frenzy, they've increased cast speed and decreased recovery time. Inescapable Frenzy, increased cast speed. Placidusax Ruin, increased FP, stamina cost and recovery time. Dragon Claw, they've decreased FP, stamina cost and recovery time. And Dragon Maw, they've decreased FP, stamina cost and recovery time. Lastly, Grail's Roar, decreased FP, stamina cost, and recovery time. To Adula's Moonblade, they've decreased the power of a single cast and improved performance so that the blades and frost hit more consistently and continuously, and they've increased cast speed at lower dexterity. Flame fell upon them, decreased the damage of single cast and improved the performance so that it hits the enemy multiple times. They've also decreased the FP cost. Howler Shabriri, they've decreased the madness buildup on the enemy, increased cast speed and decreased recovery time. To Swarm of Flies, they've decreased blood loss buildup on enemies. The Flame of Frenzy has also decreased madness buildup and Frenzy Burst decreased madness buildup as well. Okay guys, that's all the spell adjustments, let's move on to weapon skill adjustments. Lion's Claw, increased cast speed and decreased recovery time. Kick, increased cast speed. Hora Lose Earth Shaker, increased cast speed. Increased cast speed on follow up input and decreased recovery time. Troll's Roar has decreased stamina cost, increased cast speed on follow up input and increased distance travelled. Giant Hunt decreased recovery time, Storm Assault decreased recovery time, Carrying Great Sword increased cast speed and decreased recovery time, increased the damage when charged and made it easier to cause enemies to flinch. Carrying Grandeur increased cast speed and decreased recovery time. They've increased the damage when charged and made it easier for enemies to flinch as well. Gravitas has increased cast speed. Flaming Strike increased the travel distance of a stepping cleave in a strong attack. Black Flame Tornado added hitbox to weapons when spinning and added a window to roll during the attack to cancel the animation. Lightning Slash increased cast speed, added a hitbox to the stomp animation. Sacred Blade increased cast speed. And that's the same for Sacred Ring of Light and Poisonous Mist and Poisonous Moth Flight, which also has a decreased recovery time. Ice Spear added a hitbox to the weapon spinning animation. Chilling Mist and Assassin's Gambit and Shield Bash all have increased cast speed. Decreased the stamina cost and increased the cast speed of Shield Crash and Blade of Gold, which also has decreased recovery time. Blade of Death increased cast speed and decreased recovery time. Golden Tempering decreased FP cost and increased cast speed, decreased FP cost and increased cast speed and increased effect duration. Last Rites increased cast speed, Mists of Slumber increased cast speed, Dancing Blade increased travel distance, added a window to roll during the attack to cancel, Unblockable Blade increased cast speed with the weapon Coated Sword, Alabaster Lord's Pool increased cast speed and decreased recovery time, they've also added a window to cancel that as well, Establish Order decreased recovery time and increased cast speed on follow-up inputs, and they've increased damage and made it easier to cause enemies to flinch. Moonlight Greatsword, decreased FP cost, increased cast speed and decreased recovery time, and increased the frost buildup effect during the skill duration. Wave of Gold, decreased FP cost and increased cast speed. Wolf's Assault, increased cast speed and decreased recovery time. The Queen's Black Flame, increased cast speed, added a window to roll during the attack to cancel the animation. Dynast's Finesse decreased stamina cost, Flowing Form decreased stamina cost, and Death Flare increased cast speed. Onyx Lord's Repulsion increased cast speed and decreased recovery time and added a window to roll to cancel the animation. Magma Guillotine decreased stamina cost, increased cast speed and decreased recovery time on follow-up input. Cursed Blood Slice increased cast speed and decreased recovery time. Ice Lightning Sword increased cast speed and added a hitbox to the stomp animation. 
Rose's Summon, decreased recovery time. I command the Kneel, increased cast speed, including follow-up input, and added a window to roll to cancel the animation. Goldbreaker, decreased FP cost, increased cast speed, and decreased recovery time. Familial Rancor, added a window to roll during the attack to cancel the animation. Nebula, increased cast speed and decreased recovery time with the weapon Bastard Stars. Regal Beast Claw, increased cast speed. The Devourer of Worlds, increased cast speed. Regal Roar, decreased recovery time, and the same for Spear Call Ritual. Ancient Lightning Spear, decreased FP cost and increased cast speed, allows players to more easily withstand enemy attacks while casting. Great Separate Hunt, decreased recovery time and increased damage, allows players to more easily withstand attacks from enemies. Frenzy Flame Thrust, decreased FP cost, decreased recovery time, and decreased madness buildup on self. Bloodborne Ritual, increased cast speed. Mikola's Rite of Light, increased cast speed. Sea of Magma, increased cast speed and decreased recovery time, and added a window to cancel the animation. Flame Dance, decreased stamina cost, decreased recovery time, and added a window to cancel animation. Storm Kick has decreased stamina cost, and Bear Witness, increased cast speed. Lastly, Thundercloud Form, decreased damage when not charged, decreased FP cost, and increased cast speed, and decreased recovery time. Let's move on to the list of bug fixes. Fixed a bug where the damage of Inescapable Frenzy was affected by right hand weapons. A bug where the damage of a weapon arc carrying retaliation was increased by weapon and status, and the effect was not displayed correctly during online multiplayer. A fix where the animation when inflicted with blood loss and frostbite was bigger than originally planned. A fix during character appearance change menu in which some parameter changes were sometimes not reflected. A bug that prevented a dialogue from appearing when executing leave on some items. A bug that allowed unauthorized items to be passed to other players. Fixed a bug in multiplayer that prevented grace to be registered on the map if it was found just before the player is summoned. Fixed a bug that sometimes prevented the mechanic of Renala Queen of the Full Moon fight from working properly during cooperative multiplayer. A bug that sometimes prevented the player from entering the boss area after defeating Morgoth the Omen King. A fix on a bug that prevented Edgar the Revenger and Festering Finger Vike from invading after defeating all the bosses in Luernia of the Lakes. The item Tonic of Forgetfulness can now be obtained at the Volcano Manor if the player wasn't able to obtain it due to quest progression. Fixed a bug that caused the reduction of ruins due to NPC Gostock when players died in Stormville Castle to occur at an unintended timing. Added a protective barrier to Millicent after helping her at Mikola's Heilig Tree so she cannot be unintentionally killed. Fixed a bug that sometimes prevented the player from obtaining the reward after defeating the Dung Eater. Fixed a bug that sometimes prevented the player from progressing Dialysis' questline. Fixed a bug that sometimes prevented players from duplicating Remembrance of the Walking Mausoleum. A bug that prevented players from inputting consecutive attacks when dual wielding thrusting swords. A bug that caused the scythe to lose blood loss effect if poison affinity is applied to the weapon. Fixed a bug where the damage of iron greatsword was lower than expected when an affinity is applied. Fixed a bug that caused FP consumption to increase when the player cast Night Comet with charge. Fixed a bug that causes the default key setting on the keyboard for weapon skill left control to not be set, and that's PC only of course. Fixed a bug in the Steam version where the history of a player who played multiplayer was not displayed correctly under certain circumstances. Increased online multiplayer stability. Fixed a bug that caused incorrect sounds to be played under certain circumstances. A bug that caused some places on the map to have incorrect visuals or hitboxes. Fixed a bug that caused some enemies to incorrect visuals and behavior. Fixed a bug that caused some armor to have incorrect stats. And along with that, there are some other performance improvements as well. So guys, that is it for this video. All of the changes made in today's Elden Ring 1.04 update, including balance changes to every spell and every weapon skill in the game, along with plenty of bug fixes to lots of the game's exploits and issues and problems with missions. Let me know what you think of the changes in the comments below. Like and subscribe to stay up to date on the latest news and info for Elden Ring, and I will see you next time. Bye.